What's going on guys? You know, I started this channel a couple years ago with the sole purpose of being as helpful as I possibly could to new streamers, upcoming streamers. And since I started, the sheer volume of streamer info on YouTube has just exploded. So many more awesome YouTubers. I would recommend watching all of them. So many more videos, so many more videos. Like the downside to this growth is that there are now so many videos on streaming that if you have a question, you have to search through five 20 minute videos just to find your answer. Get a piece from this one, get a piece from this one. So we're gonna start something new. A couple times a month, we're gonna take a relatively large and common topic and we're gonna put together a short and to the point video. In fact, this video might be a little too short to justify putting an ad on it. So instead, check out Senpai Series Zero Merch, the limited merch drop before the first official merch drop. That's why it's called Series Zero because it's before Series One. Only available until the end of September and then there will never be a Series Zero ever again. It is just a hoodie and a flag. Check it out in the link in the description below and uh, enjoy OBS Basics in five minutes. OBS is one of the basic tools of live streamers. It takes the thing that you want to stream, whether it's your gameplay, your camera, or whatever the heck this is, and sends it straight to Twitch to be broadcasted. Unlike video platforms like YouTube, where you can edit your footage beforehand and upload it straight to the platform, all the editing in a live stream has to be done live while simultaneously being uploaded at the same time. OBS is like your live editor and your uploader. For example, you can layer your gameplay, your camera, your overlay, your alerts, your dog, that's my dog by the way, and OBS will edit all of those layers into a single live streamed video. So let's start making one. This little box here is where we add all of our layers or OBS calls them sources. Hitting that little plus button shows us all the different things we can add. First, let's add our gameplay, which means we're gonna have to capture our display that the game is being played on. Make sure you choose the right display here because you can capture any display. Now let's add our webcam, which is considered a video capture device. Choose the webcam from the list of sources and then resize it however you want using the little red squares along the border. By the way, if you hold alt while you're dragging one of the side squares, you can actually crop it so you can make your camera square or even vertical. Now let's put this border around my camera. This is called an overlay. Some overlays are very small. Some are ridiculously huge. Get creative, get weird. I don't care, as long as you like it. Since this is just a PNG image file, I'm gonna add an image as a source. But if this were an animated video overlay, I would add a media source. We are almost done. Seriously. Next, you'll wanna add some fun alerts to your stream so it makes an animation whenever someone follows or subscribes or drops bits or maybe sends you a hate raid which is apparently a thing on Twitch now. Stream Labs and Stream Elements are two great places to get alerts set up. I use Stream Elements myself and I've got a whole tutorial right up here if you wanna learn a little bit more about it. By the way, Sam, I can never remember which way to point, so I need to make sure you pointed me in the right direction there. Thanks, I appreciate it. Once you have your alerts set up on Stream Labs or Stream Elements, you'll need to add them into OBS. This source is gonna be called a browser. What this actually does is this just adds a web page to your stream. Just copy the URL that the alert site gives you and just paste it right here. And then also make sure you match up the resolution in OBS to the one in the alert editor. We do still need to add your microphone, but we'll get to that in a minute when we get into the settings. But for now, your scene is done. It looks beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Let's talk about how to send it to Twitch. The last couple things you need are gonna be in the settings down here. And I know you open it up and you're like, oh my gosh, there are a lot of settings. This is so overwhelming. Don't worry, you only need to know like 10% of these. First place we're gonna go is the stream tab up here. This is where you tell OBS where your stream channel is so it knows where to send your beautiful stream to. For Twitch streaming, it's super easy. You literally just log in with your Twitch account and then when you go live, it sends it right to your Twitch account. For other platforms like YouTube Live, you're gonna need to find your stream key. For example, your YouTube stream key is right here on the live dashboard. Just paste that in here, you'll be good to go. Oh hey, uh, Future Harris here. Since we filmed this video a day or two ago, they actually updated OBS to include YouTube sign-in. It's still in beta as of filming, but you can now sign into YouTube the exact same way that you sign into Twitch. So, just thought I'd point that out. Back to the video. But before you hit that go live button, let's make sure your stream quality is looking really good. Let's go to that output tab. Taking your final stream and turning it into a single video small enough to send to Twitch is called encoding. You need to decide which encoder to use. Let me give you a simple guideline. If you're running a computer that has an NVIDIA graphics card that starts with either 20, 30, or 16, you'll wanna use NVENC. And you'll wanna set the quality to max quality. Any other GPU, you'll most likely want to use x264. And as for bitrate, in general on Twitch, you'll want to use 6000. Unless your internet is slower than that, then just 
turn it down as needed. And lastly, let's get that microphone set up. So click on the audio tab right here. Go to the very first mic drop down menu, click on that and choose your microphone. Do you have a USB mic? Maybe you have an XLR interface. It will be in there. Maybe you're a go-getter and you have a Go XLR. That'll be in there too. And now you have a fully functioning Twitch stream. But wait, Harris, what if I wanna have two different scenes? One for when I'm gaming and one for when I'm talking between games and I want my camera to be bigger. Wow, what a great question. Well, maybe we should check out this other box over here labeled scenes. Check this out. I can add a new scene, let's call it Big Head. And then we can start from scratch, add all of our sources in the way we want it on this scene. Let's make the camera extra big. And now we can click back and forth between the two. Gameplay, Big Head. Small Head, Big Head. Four Head, Nine Head. Small Brain, still small brain, but inside a massive skull. Take this info and go be your best self on Twitch. Hit the like button if this helped or if you learned something new. Share it with your friend. Did we make it in under five minutes? I have no idea. We still have to edit this. And guys, what else do you want to see us explain in under five minutes? It could be something vague, like expert tips of OBS, or it could be something really specific, like how to create a stinger transition. Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and as always, happy streaming.